This tutorial will show you how to use, create, and edit masks for your image. In general is to say that masks are useful for masking out image pixel or are used in the role of a region of interest. First, the product has to be opened. In this case, it's a Maris Level 2 product, and therefore we have these different bands. Open an RGB image with the reflectances. This scene is located in the Bohai Sea in East Asia. Masks are managed by the Mask Manager tool window. By default, it's not shown in the toolbar. You can open the Mask Manager by View, Two Windows, and then Mask Manager. You can also add it to the toolbar to have it always at hand. Choose also from the menu View, Toolbars, and then Views. Then it shows up in your toolbar. In the Open Mask Manager, you will see that several masks are already included in this product. Flags of NVSAT standard products are automatically included as masks. Also, imported vector data like ASRI shapefiles are automatically rasterized and available as masks. On the left side, masks can be switched visible. For example, coastline, land, cloud, or water. The in the mask included pixel will be colored in the selected color. For color and transparency, the value can be changed right in the table. For example, the water mask can be set blue and the transparency can be changed. That's a good way to differentiate pixel of interest and to control the visibility of the displayed band. If you double click on the type, an editor dialog will be opened for masks of type math and range. This editor can also be opened by clicking the icon with the pencil. If you are interested in generating your own masks, you can do it in three main ways. By a band mass expression, by a value range, or by using the drawing tool and generating geometry. The arithmetical band math expression can reference any bands, tie point grids, single flags or other masks defined in your data product. The band math expression window gives you a lot of opportunities for creating a mask. Select which data source should be shown in the data source window. Several constants, operators and functions can be used for the expression. We want to combine the land and the cloud mask. Therefore you have to include the masks and then select land, combine it with the operator OR, and then select cloud. Below the expression area is shown. If the expression is valid or still contains errors. If everything is fine, click OK. The new band is now shown in your mask manager. It now can be labeled colored and the transparency can be set. The second way to create a mask is the value range. This is based on the range of a certain band. All pixels whose value fall within the value range are masked. In this case we have our LG2 band with the chlorophyll 2 content. Choose a range with high values, for example 12 to 40, and the I'll get 2 band, so that the area with the high chlorophyll value are masked. Again, you can label it and color it, of course. The third way is to generate a geometry with a drawing tool. Choose the polygon drawing tool and then draw a polygon.
The polygon then will appear in the mask manager. So summarizing, you have got the land cloud mask from the type map, the chlorophyll high mask with the type range, and the geometry mask with the type geometry. Within the mask, it is possible to combine selected masks in four different ways. For example, we select land and cloud, and then we can combine them with create a union of the selected bands, create the intersection of the selected masks, create the difference of the selected mask in top-down order or in bottom-up order, or creates the complement of the selected masks. Further tools are copying selected masks, remove selected masks, or import or export masks. For more information or further questions, you can visit the SNAP forum with the link below. Thank you for watching.